Hello and welcome to FaceGen, the easy way to create realistic 3D faces. In this video I will demonstrate how to download and install the additional model sets or meshes which are available to licensed users of FaceGen Modeler. For the purpose of this video I will be downloading and installing only the Rapid Prototype model set. After navigating to the download page, select the model set desired, in this case the Rapid Prototype model set, and begin downloading the file to your computer. Once the file has completely downloaded, unzip it to your FaceGen model sets directory. Now depending on which Windows OS you are running, this file location will be somewhat different. For you XP users, that directory is Documents and Setting, Username, Application Data, FaceGen, Modeler 3, Modeler Sets. If you're using either Windows Vista or Windows 7, that directory is Users, Username, App Data, Roaming, FaceGen, Modeler 3, Model Sets. And please note that username is your login name, and you cannot use all users or public. Also, to view the application data or app data directories, you must select Show Hidden Files and Folders from the Advanced Settings window in the View tab of the Folder Options dialog. Here I am running Windows 7, so I am unzipping the Rapid Prototype model set to the appropriate directory. Username, App Data, Roaming, FaceGen, Modeler 3, Model Sets. And that's it! You've just successfully downloaded and unzipped your FaceGen additional model set. After unzipping the file, restart Modeler and now you can select the new model set. From the Model drop-down menu, select Change Model Set and then select the desired model set. And voila! Now you have the Rapid Prototype Mesh loaded in your viewport. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit www.facegen.com.